Hello, you wonderful, beautiful people of the internet. Ooh, welcome back. My name is Tiara. My channel is Tiara Source Rex, and you're watching me play Fallout New Vegas Blind in 2020. Now, I need to return to Julie Farkas and tell her that I've cleaned up these people's acts. Um, they are off of. Well, they're going to be quitting alcohol and chems. Hey, good to see you. Hello, Julie Farkas. I helped that addiction problem. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. Do I have your money? If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Oh, cool. Um, well, I'm gonna need those. Sure. Woohoo! Would you like a stim pack, fixer, or rat away? Same game. I need a stim pack. You'll need to wait another 24 hours for us to get more made. We need everything else we currently have. I understand that. Okay. Peace out. You're just not even gonna say anything? Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. In Freeside. Ganon, what's up? Hey, I've got more speech. Hello again. Still in one piece, I see. Yes. Mmm. Actually, I'll come back for Arcade Ganon once I do Veronica's quest. Cause she's got one right now. Make you care. Go with Veronica to talk to the Brotherhood of Steel elder at Hidden Valley. Oh, I'm already gonna go talk to an elder. That's fast. I'm moving up in the world. What, 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 what is going on? Hello. They're Gex attacking. Gex. Well, I feel like I'm a little bit too high of a level for this area. Dare you throw dynamite? Wait, where'd you go? I just had you in my sights. Where are you going, bruh? Stop! Just stop! Ooh. Ooh, there's a gate. Okay. I can do gates. Hidden valley. It's not very hidden. Maybe it's the dust that it makes it hidden. That just wouldn't load in. Hello. Oh my god, why? Excuse me? You guys want to live in this? Oh no, they live in a bunker. That's right. Oh, here's the entrance. Ban the bomb. Love, peace, peace. Yeah, um. Still the I don't think the Bird of are very much about peace and love. Don't attack me. I'm, I'm here with your friend, your friendo, your buddy. Oh, okay. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <laughs> for Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Interesting. Oh, that's a cool door. Sci-fi. They're not gonna be too happy about me walking in with her, are they? They're gonna be like, "You revealed our secret location to some stranger." Ooh. Don't, 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 don't raise your weapon at me. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here, and I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Mm -hmm. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? All right. Oh, and the elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. All right, Paladin Ramos. I will keep that in mind. Quest added, still in the dark. Still in the dark. Speak with Elder McNamara on the second command. Okay, we'll flip that one on just so I can see which way I'm going, just in case. Hello, my brotherhood of steel people. How may I assist you? In no way, thank you. How do you get any work done? Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I just walked I'm in. I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. All right, hello, Linda Schuller. So you're a doctor? Yes, I handle all medical needs in the bunker. If you're ever wounded, I can treat you for a fee. 
No, thank you. Normally, I'd just be the base's medical officer. But my other duties say otherwise. All right. What services can you We perform? have equipment here to treat most physical injuries. Lacerations, broken bones, that sort of thing. We also carry a full supply of antitoxins. You may have noticed the bark scorpions up above. Though tiny, their venom packs quite a punch. Treating scorpion stings is my most common procedure. Mm -hmm. I can also treat any form of radiation sickness you pick up out in the waste. No matter what stage. Save the last. Oh. Okay. Um, you mentioned other duties you had? I'm this bunker's head scribe in everything but name. I supervise the research scenes. I collate the reports. I attend the meetings. But for reasons beyond me, that buffoon Taggart still gets the title. And don't get me started on that little pet of his. Everyone around here knows what's going on there but her. Oh, okay. You really don't like Taggart, do you? I don't appreciate how much harder I have to work to cover for his tendency to focus on his personal projects. I try not to think too much about his personal proclivities. Okay. I Bye. keep going. Peace. Oh my god. Who is shooting repetitively? You have an office right next to a firing range? Do the initiates really need to sleep or apprentice walk-ins? Do they need to sleep on metal bed? Oh my god, your hair is yellow. Yeah? Hi. Um, tell me about yourself. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. Are you... okay. Who do you take more after, your mother or your father? I don't know. I'm a little like both of them, I guess. If I had to choose, I really don't know which I'd pick. That's a question I've been asked a lot lately, since it's something I have to decide for myself soon. What do you mean? I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became eligible for journeyman status. But first, I have to decide which order I want to join. The knights or the scribes? Mm. Tell me about the knights. Knights are in charge of all of our equipment. Power armor, gatling lasers, you name it. All of it built and maintained by knights. Knights also get to go out on patrols, scouting assignments, and support the paladins in offensive operations. Being a knight would mean getting to see more of the world, fight the Brotherhood's enemies, and possibly someday become a paladin like my mother. Hmm. Okay. What's with all the computers? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Oh, okay. Did the brother used to go out more? Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? All right. Shouldn't you be in cool school or something? Headscribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. All right. Later. <laughs> Your voice changed real fast there. Don't work too hard there, Ibsen. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Veronica. Scribe Ibsen. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Mm -hmm. Why is that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. All right. Well, why aren't there any patrols anymore? Oh, there are patrols. Just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for, well, let's just say it's been a while. The only time anyone gets to go topside is guard duty or to gather provisions. Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. Yeah, you guys must be going a little crazy. Nah, it's not so bad. The world outside isn't exactly a paradise, you know? Still, you can only breathe recirculated air for so long. We've got more than a few people in here who are going a little stir-crazy. Oh yeah, I can imagine. So, what kind of information is in this data store? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. 
Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Okay, about the virus. Yes, did you have an idea that might help us? Do I? My science isn't high enough. Anything I can do to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to... While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. Mm, okay. What do I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Okay. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible. But the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish. But we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. Okay. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. Okay, I'll give it a try. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. Okay. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Will do. There's so many terminals in here, oh my god. Alright, I need to do this systematically. Damn, it's jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Alright, this is bullshit. I just have now to wait until my science is up because this is not working. There's nothing that'll work there. I went and checked every terminal within the time limit and, well, everyone except two. But he said that there have to be three, so I feel like I'm just going around in circles. Oh, head scribe Taggart. Yes, what is it? And you are? Ah, the outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am head scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. I will fuck you too. Yes, what is it? Bitch ass. Bye. Scribe Taggart, it's your favorite student. Nice to see you too, Veronica. <laughs> what is it? it seems like nobody likes her. Alright, this is going to be where the elder is, right? Right? Yes, okay. This is where I'm going to end this episode. I will see you in the next one where we will be talking to the Brotherhood of Steel Elder.